Live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Welcome to ABC4 News at 10. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us here tonight. Our top story, fallout from the University of Utah's award-winning gymnastics team. This all centers around allegations against longtime head coach Tom Farden. ABC4 Sierra Ryder live from the University of Utah tonight with the details. Sierra. I'm live at the University of Utah's Dumkey Gymnastics Center quiet this evening as longtime program coach Tom Farden is facing allegations of emotional abuse. A number of former gymnasts and parents claim head coach Tom Farden verbally abused and intimidated members of the team. According to a report by Deseret News, Farden's allegations include public shaming, a toxic and unwelcome environment, physical intimidation, and more. I was able to speak with one gymnast, Missy Reinstatler, who worked with Farden as an athlete for four years and a manager for one. She said while she does not want to take away from anyone's experience, the allegations came as a shock to her. In our conversation, she said, Coach Farden definitely has a strong personality, but I think the root of him is very good and a kind-hearted person. He cares a lot about his athletes. Based off my experiences and what I've witnessed from most of my teammates, this news definitely feels shocking. If the allegations are true, they directly conflict with the University of Utah's student athlete wellness policy that calls for staff responsibility. Writing, it is the responsibility of each coach, volunteer, and staff member associated with the university to act in a positive and respectful way. Now, Farden has been a key member of the gymnastics team in his now 23-year tenure. He joined the Red Rocks as an assistant coach ahead of the 2011 season, becoming the head coach in 2020. ABC4 also reached out to the University of Utah's athletics department on this news, receiving this statement. The well-being and safety of our student-athletes are of the utmost importance to the university and the athletics department. The university is committed to ensuring our student-athletes feel respected and supported with access to campus and community resources as needed. We have confirmed that the university has ordered an independent review of the program through an outside firm that began in July. A final report is expected in the coming weeks and will be available on the university's website. As I was speaking with Missy Reinstetler, she did say that it's possible that Coach Fargan said things that maybe he shouldn't have in the heat of the moment, but she also doubled down that he really did care a lot for the team and wanted the best for the program and the athletes. But of course, we are going to track this story very closely and see what comes out of that formal investigation. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Sierra Ryder, ABC4 News. Sierra,